Hello, welcome to the Daily Political Tarot and Astrology here on the Black and Orange channel. Thank you for being here. Let me move this a little bit. Um, I am here literally 366 days this year. So uh, to take your political questions out of the chat, just leave your questions in the chat before I come on. 10% of my income from everything black and orange goes to Feeding America at feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. That's an ongoing thing. We have got epic troll slayers who keep us safe. Thank you. And we have got a, a, um, a fantastic community here because of you. You have been so kind to each other. You're so kind to me. Thank you. And if you're watching on replay, hello. You can go down in the description box. All the questions are listed there. I timestamp them as I go so you can pick and choose what you're interested in. Or you can watch back on like 1.25 speed, which I do a lot on YouTube. So this first part will seem a little bit too fast, but then the rest of it, it usually just goes pretty well. So hello, everybody. Uh, I have got to thank Sarah this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my, uh, I, my herniated disc in my back has been much better. Um, but, you know, you get, you know, it's, it, it was like two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back. Then it was like three steps forward, one step back. And so now we're more like four steps forward, one step back. Well, it's a one step back day, which is okay. But this morning um, it, I, you know, was sitting here with the, this, I've got this mechanical massage pillow spinny with spinners that I can put back here. And I'm just kind of very, you know, <laughs> just sitting here like this with the pillow behind me. Uh, not a good look, um, but that's what I was doing. And Sarah, it was just like, let me do questions for you this morning. Do you want me to, you know, do you want me to do questions? And I know she had a lot of other things to do, but she helped this morning when she was not scheduled to, not going to. Uh, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, <clears throat> Let's do the thing. And uh, Mickey says, I didn't know you had spinal problems. I do as well, so I understand. Oh, I'm sorry. Raymond De 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 Pascal says, stretching, stretching, and exercise. Oh, yeah. You've got to do the, uh, yeah, the, the big thing being the, uh, I think in yoga, it's a cobra pose where you, you, you lay flat and then you go top of your body up. And it it uh, opens up the front of your your spine so that the stuff that's in between can can move can be pulled back in. Yeah, do a lot of cobra <laughs> cobra pose. Finish him. <clears throat> anyway, you can tell you can tell how old I was when I was in college. Finish him. Anyway, um, <clears throat> maladaptive daydream, mal is saying spine problems. Uh, there's an, the explanation I've, I've always liked of what happens when humans walk upright is this is what happens when you try to use a clothesline as a flagpole. <laughs> there we go. Uh, visualize something. You mean the discs in your spine? Yes, yes. Down in in my my lower back, I've got a herniated disc. So you just but if you when you when you if you have a bit stuck out on one side, if you open up the other side, it actually pulls in the stuff sticking out. But I'm getting better. Anyway, we should get on with the thing. So, um, all right, let's use. <clears throat> I'm having really, really good results with this um, um, weird, weird world tarot. So I want to try this again. Oh, thank you. You're very sweet. I just wanted to let you know what's going on. So if I'm sitting here and I'm just like sitting weirdly or something, I'm just trying to keep things stable because I want to be here and I want to... I want to uh, read on your questions, and we've got all kind of fun stuff to go through, and uh, yeah. Yes, Valerie, from a pain in the back to a pain in the... Yes. <laughs> that 
was good. Oh, we've got some good stuff. Oh, and we have some good news. We have some good news. But first, before we get to the good news, we're going to start with the freak out. Not our freak out. Trump's freak out. Okay, at 515, because... Uh, is there anything? Well, there are a lot of things I want in life more than Trump to be held accountable for his actions. But, you know, I'll take what I can get. <clears throat> did you know? Did you know that Uncle Joe is having a much having much more success with his fundraising than Mr. Trump? Mr. Trump. <clears throat> and um, so. Um, Dumpy has decided that he's going to have this massive fundraiser, and it is tonight. Uh huh. To the tune of he's he is he is. It's like you have to. What is it? He, he needs at least like a million five from everybody. All the couples who were going or whatever, some super high, huge fundraiser where he's hoping to raise as much as $43 million for his campaign. Well, campaign or, you know, legal costs or whatever. 1.6 per couple. Thank you, Maltings College. Oh, Cynthia O'Keefe says 1.3 per couple. So it's around there. We all think it's around there. <clears throat> oh, Lewis says my tux is in the cleaners. Oh, that's a shame. Mickey's asking is the money for campaign or legal fees? Well, what he's been doing is, he says, 90% for the campaign and 10% for his legal fees, but I'm not sure about that. So, <clears> hmm. <throat> Malding's cottage can't go. I'm washing my hair. Oh, Michael Hill's pointing out what a bargain. Anyway, so apparently Trump is. Oh, uh, Anne says his party in Palm Springs is. It's eight hundred twenty-four thousand six hundred dollars a person. Is oddly specific. Eight hundred thousand. Eight hundred thousand. 824,600, 824,600. That's odd. So apparently he's going around asking everybody around him, have they paid? How, is it going, How do we have the checks? Do we, do we, like anybody uses checks? Like anybody's really at this, in this day and age, unless it's a cash, I don't know, cashiers, I don't know. Then again, you can't exactly uh, sell uh $800,000 in a day. So I'm not entirely sure you could, I'm not sure you could sell $800,000 in a year. Isn't it like a $2,000 a day cap or something? Is Venmo, do they, <laughs> how do you pay eight, eight and a half thousand, eight hundred, eight hundred and twenty four thousand $824,000, 25. $825,000. David Minor, don't give him your credit card. That's true. Oh, happy weekend from the, the Netherlands. And you're, what is the evening there? Or early, af late afternoon? Goedemiddag. Sorry, that might, that accent was terrible. Goedemiddag, as I think it is. Happy midday. Hudenacht, which might be later, something like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for murdering your your, your language as murdered by the crazy lady on uh, the the cat lady on uh, YouTube. Anyway, it is uh, seven twenty five p.m. in the Netherlands. Ah, thank you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, brain. That was not good. That was Isabel. You know that's Isabel. Why did you say Elizabeth? Isabel. Ah, thank you. Isabel Moss. All right. <clears throat> Anne is saying it's called the inaugural leadership dinner. Four pots light says I'd rather gouge out both eyes with a grapefruit spoon. 
Okay. These missed as a 7.25 p.m. in the Netherlands and 6.25 p.m. in Ireland. Maltine's Cottage says, please say he hasn't sold many tickets. Well, apparently there are people going. So there are people. He's he's hoping, I mean, the card for the reading is the Ace of Pentacles. He is hoping for big money. Bigly money. And... Okay, page of wands. His situation is not... Oh, no growling. I know you're having a nightmare, but you're okay. You're okay. He is... Uh, he's not in his position of strength he's been in in the past. So, it's okay. But he is inviting people who are sitting pretty, who have lots of money. This is where it gets interesting, though. Again, card for the reading, Ace of Pentacles. Big money, big money, big money. So why are the last three cards, Page of Swords, Ace of Swords, King of Swords? I mean, the Swords cards can be voters, but it's usually a, like, a group of voters for me would be like a Queen of Swords. And the, the sword of truth is not usually his friend. <laughs> Trump's best best buddy in the world of thought forms is not the truth, the actual truth. And nothing but the truth. So help you God. Um, so the page of page of swords is weak. Yeah, Lo Lois, no pentacles. Page of Wands. Trump's usually the King of Wands, so Page of Wands is him, but weakened, sitting pretty. These people have money, and then a whole bunch of swords, but weak swords about truth. And this could very well—it feels a little legal-ish. Um, Laura Hammond Davis is will ask: Will the donor list become public? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Adrian, is McDonald's doing the catering? Yeah. Four pots light said classified docs, classified doc party favors. Oh, that is, I, that is very funny. I'm just, it's also kind of sad <laughs> that this is where we are, but all right. Oh, so how's it going to go tonight? It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. That's that's what I'm getting. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. He may bring in a mint. King of Wands. For the reading. I'm the, I am the nominee. I was, I am the ex-president. I need to be president again. He's, he's just... He thinks it's the only thing to keep, keep him out of prison. Desperate to become president again. He's just a guy. But anyway, but no, I'm the king. I'm the king. Really? Then why have I got a ten of swords, wheel of fortune, and a three of pentacles where you're having to go back to the drawing board? So what I'm getting very clearly is, oh, he might. He might be able to get some of this money, but it's not enough. It is not enough. And I'll tell you, apparently uh, one of the things that have been used, that has been used uh, very effectively against say white supremacists and other scumbags is um, you just keep taking them back to court. And they can't keep going back to court. They can't afford it. It's one of the ways to, to shut down those, those groups. So Amy Jones is asking, I wonder how many Russian oligarchs are attending. Oh my gosh, that's, that's a very good question. 
I wouldn't think any, but <laughs> I know I'm naive. Uh, any any Russian oligarchs? Uh, uh, well, quote unquote attending, as in finding a way to funnel some money in there. Lewis is pointing out that the guests must genuflect when they enter. <laughs> Yes, Valerie, uh, Sage the Scales Tarot. Do follow Sage the Scales Tarot. Oligarch adjacent. Yes. Heather says they're on the special sanctions list. Hello, Justice Card. All right, so maybe this would not work. Whew. Four of Swords, Knight of Swords, Five of Wands. Uh, well, four swords, uh, that would be the sanctions list. It's not thing legally, it's bringing things to a standstill. We have the Knight of Swords. It's a, a potentially aggressive law. Okay, so yeah, that would be bad. Aggressive law enforcement, and this would be would cause big. So no, 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 this is, this is, uh, the, the, the people there giving their money. There'll be, uh, it looks like it'll be as up and up as anything Trump ever does. Lisa Lisa says each guest gets McDonald's and a free Bible. Mm -hmm. Whew. Elizabeth Schuyler Hamilton says if you don't have the shoes, he'd need to sell them at the door and you'd have to wear them the whole time. Raymond says, I can't really believe we're all spending so much energy on Trump. Oh, might I, might I remind you respectfully, respectfully remind you and others, I am reading on Trump so often because this man tried to destroy our democracy. He sent people to unalive his vice president and he sat at a table in the White House watching it on TV doing nothing while the mob was chanting to unalive his vice president and overturn our democracy and he is still walking free. And until he is no longer walking free and probably even after a while after that as I just bathe daily in schadenfreude, <laughs> I am going to read, I am not walking away, I am not losing sight, and I'm not done. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Uh, Valley's pointing out he's trying to become a dictator at the present time. Yeah. Yep. All right. So. Elizabeth Schuyler Hamilton says he also tried to stop blue state governors from getting PPE and ventilators. Ding, 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 ding. Sharon Rice says she's on the soapbox. <laughs> Darn right I'm on the soapbox. Darn tootin'. I'm not letting that jerk go without me speaking out. So I will continue to speak out. If I end up with two people willing to watch, fine. Anyway, <sighs> thank you, Anne. All right, so let's move on to, you're gonna love this. This is, oh, this is, this is like, a, this is like a box of chocolates. Oh, this is, uh, this is like a, a box of vegan chocolates that I can eat. Oh, you ready? You ready? You ready? U.S. District Judge, say it with me, Amit, A-M-I-T, Amit, Meta, Meta, M-E-H-T-A, okay? M Amit, Meta, okay? U.S. District Judge, Amit Meta. 
is about to be the latest judge to go head to head with Trump. A group of former and current U.S. lawmakers and police have been trying to sue Trump civilly for violations of the, I kid you not, Ku Klux Klan Act. Trump had been able to evade it by ap applying for stays on the basis of immunity, but last week that was squashed. And U.S. District Judge Amit Mehta has been assigned to the case. Yes, Mickey, yes, Swalwell. Yes, and the police and... All right. And you know what this also means? More lawyers, more lawyers fees. All right. Um. Finally. Finally, 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 civil is, Whew. yes, uh, B.A. Haven says, you mean more great lawyers? <laughs> bigly, bigly lawyers. <sighs> okay, um, this should be legal decisions. Hmm. Uh, one, I think he's going to try to settle this out, out of court. Maybe not at first, but this is eight of wands. This is all the stuff that happened on Jan 6th. All of the attacks, all of the, yeah, that heinousness. Knight of Cups. These were, this is like Swalwell and the others who, and the police and people who were on the receiving ends of those attacks who are now saying, eh, eh. Oh, Linda, thank you. Thank you. Um, High Priestess. This is, this, they could uncover some secrets. What was Trump doing that day? They're going to, they're going to bring all of this out. And they're going to have, oh, our favorite word, discovery. <clears throat> which leads to the Ten of Swords, which means Trump is going to lose. Eight of Cups. And considering the focus here is on secrets and evidence collected that hurts Trump, I really, I am really, really curious. I don't know. I don't know yet what, when there's likely to be a, uh, you know, because they do have to go through discovery, stuff like that. So I don't know how long this is going to take, but Trump's going to need more lawyers. Even more lawyers. Oh boy. Oh, Jeffrey likes the, the weird world tarot. Uh, yeah, you can go go online. Uh, they're they're not on Amazon, but if you go online, I think they're I think he's selling it for he or she selling it from their own website. And uh, I think it was on on I'm pretty sure it was on Etsy. So, all right. Oh, glorious. So, the civil case. Again, you saw me shuffling. Ten of swords. It's not going to go well for him. Whew, because we've got the criminal case going that's going to start with Mershon. So, all that being brought out which also means people in the civil case will have access to that. And they are separate. 
and he can be held accountable for both. In both cases, absolute and utter corruption. Trump with some sleepless nights and burdened, oh, burdened. <sighs> okay. Oh, do put your questions in the, the chat be, just before I come on. I'm literally on every single day of the year. Every single day. I've I've not missed a day in over in almost four years. So yeah. Mickey says, Oh, I forgot. Yes, evidence in one case can be used in another case. Mm -hmm. Actually, maybe we should maybe I should read on. Dis U.S. District Judge Emmett Meta to see if he's a a uh, I don't know who put him in place, but all right. So at twenty six minutes in, <clears throat> let me just copy and paste this. What do what's what do what kind of judge are you? I don't know what this person looks like. I have not had a chance to go look this person up yet. Monty, yes. Earl Grey, Supreme. That's such a silly name. U.S. Um, District Judge Emmett Meta. So, judge are you? Ah, Mickey says Meta is a very well-known DC judge and known for running a tight ship. Ah, like Chutkin and Marshawn. Good. Oh, and Lewis, uh, Lewis was kind enough to put a link in the description box. Thank you. Or in the chat. Thank you. Ace of Cups. All right, something new. Something new. King of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Empress. Whoa, it was the first time I've pulled the Seven of Cups. Oh my gosh. The Three of Swords in this deck. Holy buckets. All right. So, sorry. Uh, okay, so the card for the reading is the Ace of Cups. So, it started this new thing. Yay. King of Pentacles. Well, this is a civil case. So, if he loses, he's to, it's about the money. Four of Cups. Refusal. Just refusal. I'm not gonna listen. I don't want to hear any more. I've already got enough on my plate. This is this is Trump being like, enough, enough. Yeah, but this is the United States of America, and Trump has been litigious his whole life, and has destroyed people's companies and left people bankrupt and uh, hurt people left, right, and center. And you know what? Live by the litigiousness die by the litigiousness, not literally, but metaphorically. Seven of Cups. It's the first time I've pulled that. Isn't it pretty? Seven of Cups. So a whole bunch of hot air, but it's illusion, delusion. Um, and, but ultimately, are you ready? Look at that Three of Swords. Holy ouch. Oh boy. So Trump's lies about the election, his sitting around, specifically in this deck, you've got someone sitting with all the <clears throat> illusion and silliness, ridiculousness, and three of swords, which is legal heartache, which is not just what's going to happen to Trump, but the people bringing the, the people bringing the suits. <clears throat> Gore says that Meta was born in India and appointed in 2014. Mickey says Meta presided over cases related to January 6th, the Capitol attack. In 2022, he rejected efforts by Donald Trump to dismiss lawsuits accusing the former president of legal responsibility. So he's a real judge. Yeah. I don't know what's going on in the stairs. I'm going to close this door. Just very quietly. 
very strange. Just weird noises, weird noises. Okay, I am back. He's he's wondering, Trump is, is going to be wondering why he can't get another cannon. Why can't I have people who are going to do it, put everything in my favor? Because it's the law, you jerk, because it's not all about you. Impossible for a narcissist to understand. Knight of Cups, they're, yeah, they're going to have words. They're going to have words. They're going to have evidence. Nine of Pentacles. He's Trump is going to continue to pretend that he's rich. Which doesn't help you at all with the final rulings. Because if you keep saying you're rich, keep insisting you're rich, then they're going to say, okay, then we're going to ask for more money. And you're still going to lose. Page of Swords. Four of Swords. Devil. All right, this is going to take this is going to take a while. It's it's going to take a while. Stephanie Martin born is saying born in 1971. Your age, Autumn? Yes, I was born in 1971. Yes, I was. Any reason why you wanted to know? Just let me know. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to take a while here. This is kind of legal silence, but they're get, as they're getting information and dealing with it. But ultimately, what they are going to show, what they're going to to civilly prove, is what it, the cards are saying: entertainment only. But the devil card, how truly heinous what he did was. So okay. La -dee 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 -dee. All right, let's move on to. Um, okay, this is kind of interesting. I had not really heard about this at 32:15. Now I was looking at the I was looking at the calendar, which is where I've got this out. And uh, Oh, Stephanie Martin says, I'm saying Meta was born in 71. Ah, it was a good year. Uh, Laura Hammond Davis says, you look great for 55. Thank you. I hope I look okay for 52. <laughs> You're funny. 52. My birthday's in November. November 6th. Anyway. Um, this is this month. What's in black is uh, Mercury retrograde. Um, you are right here on the sixth, right here. Okay. This is the um, this is the eclipse. It's going to be on Monday. I'm going to do regular uh, regular noon live stream, and then I, I may go on around it, it in its totality here the eclipse is in its totality at 207 p.m i believe and um so that is there however things start getting interesting on monday the 15th not only is it tax day in the u.s but there are two things going on one is that the New York Bragg uh, fraud trial against Trump begins jury selection here, okay? Also, and I couldn't remember the details, so I'm gonna have to look it up, but it turns out Trump has also been ordered on April 15th to sit for a deposition for a different case. And I thought he had to sit even does I, I know he has to sit there every day during during trial. Does he have to sit there every day during jury selection? Is Trump going to have to sit in court all day long and then go do a deposition? And then that Tuesday in the morning go back to court. So so Trump's doing a clopening. 
Okay. And then, and then, um, <clears throat> right on the, the following Monday on the 22nd, that's when the Ngoron bond hearing is going to be. So Hinky with Knight, whatever, um, Hink, the, the bond, the paperwork, what have you. And we've got a question about him. That's coming up on the 22nd. And then on the 25th, excuse me, the Supreme Court is going to hear arguments on uh, Trump immunity. I'm not going to listen to this. I'm not. It's just going to frustrate me. Do I think they're going to give Trump full immunity? No. Do I think they're going to throw him a crumb? Maybe. I just know it's, I just know that I would rather listen to nails on a chalkboard than listen to Thomas, Alito, Coney Barrett, Kavanaugh, or Gorsuch. Just saying. So, but I'll, I'll be happy to read on it and I'll read on it a lot, but I'm not listening to it. I'm not listening to the arguments. Yeah. So anyway, that's, and that's just to hear. So it's, it's going to be quite the, um, it's going to be quite the month. So I found it interesting. Actually, I should do, I should make this 36, 40. Uh, and make this April legal calendar. So, okay, so here we go. All right, so I had not heard about this. New York AG James has filed paperwork accusing Trump of withholding information during the $464 million civil fraud trial. Will something be done? This was two, two days ago. And I thought it was 200, 454. Pretty sure it's 54, isn't it? Well, whatever, there's interest. So apparently uh, there's something about Weisselberg. Since Weisselberg has taken a deal. So now A.G. James has filed paperwork accusing Trump of withholding information during the civil fraud trial. Isn't that illegal? If she can prove that he did, doesn't that, does that it, at the very least increase his, um, what she has to pony up? <clears throat> Lisa, Lisa says, Hanky was going to do the whole $454 million bond, but this was not reported to the court. Okay. Brad's use is highly illegal. Lewis is pointing out, but he's honest Don. Honestly a fraud. Mickey says, if Haba and Trump knew Weisselberg was lying, they are now available for charges for suborning testimony. <laughs> Roxana Lee says, Weisselberg has finally abandoned Trump, huh? Amazing. I don't know that he's fully though. I just think that they, they basically proven, they found enough evidence to prove something. Yeah. I don't, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know that Weisselberg has completely seen the light. I still think he's playing games, but he's losing is the, the, the kicker. <clears throat> Raymond Pascal says Weaselberg, impossible perjury. Kath Harper says, yikes, sounds like Trump. So, Dumpy, did you withhold information in a way that is going to get you into bigly trouble? Oh, goodness. Uh, 
Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse it. Um, <clears throat> Queen of Swords. That would be Letitia James, card for the reading. Yeah, she's she's on this. Yeah. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. This would be a thing. Um, I get I get aces for either the beginning of something or a, 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 a huge amount of something or one important thing. So this would be one mat like material piece of relevant piece of, of evidence or whatever it is. Okay. Or it also could be about money. Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> Actually, let me get the rack out. She's pulling out the rack. Yep. The best, the better to metaphorically uh, torture Trump with. <laughs> Hold, please. Now there's still movement. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on downstairs. All right. Um, Ace of Pentacles. Death card. Emperor, the sun, the tower. Let's review. Card for the reading is Letitia James. Uh, no, Anne, I don't. I don't need to check it. Okay, you can still hear movement. Someone dropped something, but they're still going, doing whatever is going on down there. Sounds like like a repair of some nature. I'm not sure. Ace of Pentacles. So a thing. She's accusing him of having withheld information. Death of the emperor with the middle sun, bringing things to light that leads to kaboom tower. Yes, the uh, Birdie. Holy buckets. Yes. I kind of thought you was, uh, for a second, when I, I glanced at the extra S's, I, I thought we were doing a, a, a golem or hobbit, you know, holy bucketses. <laughs> yeah. Dennis Lewis, is it your house visitors from the beyond? No. No, this, this, thank heavens. This place is not haunted. And I wouldn't put up with it if it was. I'd be I'd be doing whatever it took to make it unhaunted very quickly. Yeah, it is one CMC. It is one scary death card. Yeah. Hello, TJ. Buckets is Queen of Cups. There she is. King of Swords, Temperance. Okay, there's okay. So there's I pulled three more cards. There's Letitia James, Queen of Cups. Okay, King of Swords. That uh, feels like a judge. Temperance. Okay, no, I'm gonna jump to, not gonna jump to uh, conclusions. Do this properly, but it still leads to the ten legal swords in someone's metaphorical bag. The cards for Trump having withheld something, these cards for Trump are terrible. And I really, really hope that's what happens. I'm curious, though, because I'm getting such good cards for justice. I want to look at, I'm going to use Old Faithful here. Because that's still a new deck, and I want to make sure. No, it's almost like I get more muted. Not more muted. I get more... I get less explosive readings with this one. But I can definitely... I mean, the cards are softening up. I've used them so much, this deck. But um, I'm also... I can feel how much I've tried to calm myself, calm you, uh, to help us get through all this, so. Hello, first image is one. Do, 
do, do, Knight of Cups. So, yep, that's law enforcement. Because usually it should be swords, but he sees Letitia James or anyone like her as a Democrat. She she is a Democrat, but she, he sees it as sees it as political. This does feel like whether he meant to or not, it feels like Weisselberg squealed on something. Institution, you, yeah, the the whole system. If business of the laws in place of, uh, thank you, be, thank you, Haven. Uh, Kath Harper says, my tarot deck cut said fool and death. So yeah, it's bad. Lots of legal worry over an action of Trump's. And this is like, this is Weisselberg hemmed in and the secrets he's carrying. So just don't be getting into bigly trouble. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Amy Jones says, asking, well, maybe the old fella doesn't enjoy prison. <sighs> Raymond Pascal says, this is the most successful witch hunt since the Wizard of Oz, complete with cauldron broom, spellbook, and flying monkeys. <laughs> Yeah, it's leading to a whole new thing. It's just going to take some time. But yeah, Weisselberg has been holding back. But something he either let slip or there's there's something that happened that changed the the whole the tenor of the whole situation. Something came to light amidst the rancor in Trump org or what have you. There is an action that begins since we the since Letitia James is the Queen of Cups leads to new action from her. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do like this. Isabel Moss says Weaselberg loves Rikers. Christine uh, is saying she perjured himself. Yeah. All right, so. Let's actually jump down to 40 at 48. And thank you for being here. Thank you for going through the news with me. This can be kind of icky if you go through by yourself. So going through the news with you is, makes things a lot easier. All right, well, it turns out Remember Hinky and Stinky? Turns out Hinky might be having a little buyer's remorse. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it turns out, um, considering how much trouble this is all going to be to get this, try to, to try to get this bond approved and to prove that he has, that Hinky and the company Knight, whatever, whatever, that they have the $175 million in cash or something easily accessed. Um, that's what the hearing on April 22nd is going to be, the Angoron bond hearing. So, Hinky has to get lawyers and has to deal with that hearing which costs money, plus he, what is he going to do? Have to sell some things or to prove this whatever. So he is saying, uh, right now, Hinky is saying that he feels he didn't charge enough to help Trump. Friends with Monsters says, Hinky uh, doesn't have the liquid capital. Mm -hmm. So, what's going to happen? Are you are you ride or die, Hanky? He doesn't. A, a man who is generally um, 
called these no i think he called himself the subprime king of loans or some prime loan king or something like that and other people call him loan shark um entertainment on the youtube but i'm guessing that that's not someone who's right or die for dumpy so Don Hankey. Pot, four pots light says, I think Hankey's about to bail. Stuck his toe in hot waters. Old Silver says, a gold plated loan shark. Actually, I think he'd probably be uh, flattered by calling him gold plated. business. Remember, um, my understanding is Hanky actually owns or helped. He, he refinanced some of this stuff for Trump a couple of years ago. So he's already, he's already got financial ties to some of Trump's properties. Five of cups. Disappointment. Pain in the rear end. Not what he expected. Yeah, he's not impressed. Nine of Swords. Legal, worry, sleepless nights. Queen of Swords. Uh, you, you better do the, make sure you got to get all those legal ducks in a row. Page of Wands for this week. The 77-year-old narcissist. And I don't care how old he is. I'm just saying that from Hanky's position. I don't know how old Hanky is, but he's probably used to dealing with people who are a little younger. Um, that's just what I picked up on. Two of Cups. Uh, and Goron and Letitia James are pretty much in one, one mind in this. And this two of pentacles is, Hank, you're going to have to, you have to re, you, you've got to make that, make sure that that bond is available in cash, basically, or some form close to it. Malting's Cottage says he's 80. So I don't know why I'm picking up. He thinks Trump is old, but four pot slides says Hinky's insolvent. How can you not know with all of your shady savvy that the bond won't be vetted? Jean is asking which which is the bigger grifter, Stinky or Hinky? <laughs> Sounds like Hinky's the more successful grifter. Well, then again, Trump has conned his suckers out of a lot. All right, well, that's Hinky being told he's got to do make some big changes. Heartburn, headache. Interesting. Card for the ratings, Justice. Howling at the moon, world card ending is at the center. Silence, legal silence. Now, if it was just the world card and the, sorry, the world card and the four of swords, I would say, well, this is definitely going to be the end of that. But this is just says an ending, a well, heck of an ending, but an ending. But this, Howling at the Moon, that is, that's a whole lot of upset that is right before the ending. So does Hinky bail? Not bail about Trump, but just bail as in peace. Deuces. Out. Yes, friends with monsters, you burnt. 
King of Cups. And Goron is having none of this. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Lovers, and I think Trump has to go back to his suckers. Yuck. I don't know why. When I get excited about something, I, I say yuck instead of look. It has to do with this little kid. I was walking through a grocery store one day as an adult. And this little, I mean, little kid, he was walking toward me back toward his parents who were back there. And he had found, I guess there was a little toy section in the grocery store, but he had found this great big plastic fire truck. And he had this thing, he was so big, he had it slung over his shoulder. And as he passed me, he yelled out to his parents, yuck. And I've been using it ever since. He was so excited. Anyway, a uh, page of pentacles. So Trump is not in a good position financially at all. Knight of wands. Yeah, they're, they're magas trying to come to his rescue, but I've got a four of pentacles in the middle. That is a lack of funds. That is grasping hold of what little you have left and holding tight. Lover's card, those are his suckers who we ask for donations from. And this is the Wheel of Fortune. So Trump's support, not so great. So something tells me that bond hearing might get interesting or what Hanky does after the bond hearing might be really interesting. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. All right. Okay. Got a bunch of questions I didn't get to yet, but I will because I moved a bunch of stuff up. The if you look at the numbering right now, it's a mess. So don't just ignore that the numbering of what's left. But uh, at fifty-eight minutes in, I'll make sure I get to this. So we know Judge Cannon, Judge Loose Cannon, Florida, in charge of the Docs case, right? Judge Cannon is reportedly getting irritated with Trump because he's making it harder for her to help him. Cannon is trying to do what she can for him, but Trump keeps running his mouth. She's trying to make these rulings or she's trying to avoid making rulings and she's, she's trying to keep what she's doing kind of as quiet as possible. If you can do that, from, if you can keep stuff like that from Jack Smith, good luck. Um, but apparently, Trump just keeps yapping. The details. There's a link in the in the description box, so you can you can go read the details. But um, O'Cannon I watched Cash Peters this morning. He's so good. And he was looking at Judge Cannon and Smith, and he saw he saw Cannon walking away, but further down, it's like, yeah. It's what I get for what it's worth. But Four of Pentacles, Empress, Lovers, Page of Swords, Ace of Wands. Nope, she's still totally in his corner. Nope, no surprise. No surprise. This Four of Pentacles, so Trump's in bad, he's in dire straits, but there's America. He's in dire straits across the country, but... She's 
she's willing to diminish herself in order to be one of his suckers. And this is an action that, that Trump takes here. Yeah, she's just putting up with it. Lewis is Trump praising Cannon for ruling against him. Hang on. Okay, Lois says Trump pra praising Cannon for ruling against him. What, considering how he treats other judges, that's true. Um, and <sighs> just having a quick look. Thea says she's counting on the justice of the Supreme Court appointment if she can get if she can help him win. Absolutely. So, yeah. But she will get hers. She'll. I. I just. I've never picked up on her seeing this through or being able to get rid of this whole thing. So it's just frustrating. But we've been through frustrations before. You know, there was a point at which we didn't. We were starting to think Trump would never even be indicted. And at this point, he has 81 felony charges hanging over him because he dismissed three, which I believe can still be refiled. But right now, I believe he has 88 hanging over him. So anyway, um, Mickey says 91. I, yeah, but I, like I said, I think three of them were dismissed with the idea that, and telling the prosecutor if they fix some things, they could possibly refile them. But anyway, Bratu says Fanny can save those three for later. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, it was a lot today. It was a lot. And thank you. Thank you for going through the news with me. All right. So it is 1.18 PM here in Chicago. At three o'clock, I'll be over on the Creative Sprints channel. Um, tomorrow and Monday, normal time, live stream, what have you, uh, tomorrow is Sarah's day off. She'll be around, she's taking tomorrow off so she can be or at least around ish on Monday. She's got a bunch of stuff in the morning, but, um, anyway, so we are going to get through this. And there are some really interesting court cases coming and the civil case, the insurrection civil case is going forward against Trump. Yay. It's good news. It's good news. All right. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day or night and hang in there. You're not alone. We are in this together. There are good days ahead. And I will see you right back here tomorrow. Same cat time, same cat channel. Take care. Thank you.